well folks, I am down at the Hull Farm here with David, Mark, Andrew and Rory. And the four boys are actually going to take me through the stages that they go through to get a dairy cow ready for their show season. Well David, how's things? Hey, I'm alright, thanks. How are you? Where about are we at today? So we're at uh, we're in Lisburn here at my home place, uh, Dam Holsteins. Um, we're just uh, we're in the robot shed here. Just in behind here's the, the show pen for some of the show cows that we would keep for for shows all year round. So um, you're gonna talk me through what's involved in choosing an animal for the show. Yeah, um, yeah. So we would sort of maybe be, maybe like the likes of Balmoral's show start a year in advance. Um, we would be selecting what we think has show potential to make the show then. Um, then working towards that all year. Um, we're sort of putting her in calf to get her calving at the right time for the show, probably four to five months before the show. We would want okay. that animal calving to be looking her like optimum on well. show day. Yep. Yeah. So. so it all starts a year before? Aye, well, yeah, there's a lot of work goes into showing cows. Like They would be they're kept in behind here on a slightly different diet to what the rest of those cows would be on down yeah. there. Um, they would be getting TMR in the morning and then they get left hay all day and then TMR in the evening again and uh, that's just to have them in optimum condition yep. for show, show ring, you know. What so, uh, what's, do you go straight for if you're looking for an animal to choose? Like what stands um, out to you? She needs to be, <laughs> have a nice dairy character about her, good top, hard top on her and mammary system is key to yeah. doing well in the shoe ring as well and has to be able to walk on a good set of legs and feet as well. Yeah. So, um, and then within the year then she'll progress and yeah. um, you just look to see what is potential then? Yeah and our top end pedigrees would normally normally match what we're trying to show what like so we sort of have an idea of what's going to be good or what could be good you know. So, um, David what draws you to wanting to show cattle like why do you want to do that? The uh, main reason would be for marketability of my own animals. We have elite genetics here on farm and at the end of the day we want to have them on show to everyone at the show grounds yeah. in Balmoral Show. We want people walking past and stopping to look at our animals and thinking, Getting your name well, I'd right like there. something out of that and it sort of yeah. gets our name out a wee bit. And enjoyment too, obviously, like, but the main end of things would be for marketability of yeah. the herd. Like, and, um, Want to have people coming back year on year after like my genetics, like, so yep. Well, that's sort of the main reason we do it here. Like, yep. but, um, yeah, yeah, well. it's a lot of extra work, but it is worth it at the end of the day. So. Ah, it works all out. Fees yeah. in the end. Mm -hmm. No, very good, very good. Rory, how are you getting on? Good. He's your getting her all ready. Yeah, we're getting her slowly, for sure. Um, David was telling me about the, what, how he chooses an animal yep. for show. So now you're going to tell us the prepping end of it yeah so the first bit would be the most awkward but would be hard to train it like it yeah. takes a bit of time but as you can see when it's done right it's a lot easier work oh, with the cow just stands there just stands there like yeah and like just working with her and washing with her like washing is also important then to get a nice shiny coat like get the white white and yeah and then it makes uh, life a lot easier when you're clipping her uh -huh. so to get a good nice clean coat when you're clipping and do you start at the back to the front or the front to the back or do you just have your own wee Routine Everyone it? kind of has their own way. I normally start at the back. Yeah, and work your way forward. Yeah, just just kind of get your hand on her first before you get the clippers on, get her used to it. And, yeah. And then yeah, always like stay close. Like Mark is there, like keeping a hand on her just in case she starts moving or that. Yeah. You, so kind of keeps her settled a little yeah. bit. Yeah. She knows where you are. You know what she's doing. Yeah. And she just stands then normally. Yeah. What made you go into the preparation end of getting cows ready, or was it always in the family, or? Uh, not really. It was just kind an of an, it was an accident. Like just my uncle at home showed and. I liked helping him, I wanted to get a little bit better and the thing just snowballed a bit, I guess. Were you self-taught or did you go and learn or just? I go and learn, I got, I was lucky enough to work with with uh, some good people, people that were good that to industry? me. Yeah. yeah, so they looked after me, so. So here you see Mark clipping the other a lot tighter than the rest of the body, just to emphasize the the skin texture and the other quality of the other. And then uh -huh. like, you always find a lot more veins too when you clip the other really short. This would be like the? A beer blade if you went to the hairdressers. Yeah. <laughs> to the barber, I should say, not the hairdressers. Yeah, the hairdressers. <laughs> yeah. These are like the cow hairdressers. Yeah. It's the same principle, like. Yeah, exactly. It's like if a girl's getting ready for a night out. Yeah. <laughs> they all same go to the thing. hairdressers. Um, I can see the veins already popping out there already, like. 
Definitely. Is that, would you say this is like the most important part or? It'll be yeah. A crucial part? A crucial like? part, yeah. What's the next step now that we're at? Okay, so the next step now, Mark, is uh, doing our top line. You see here he's using a blower and brush to blow the hair up straight. Yeah. We're just doing that ideally every Holstein cow should have a straight a straight spine. Uh -huh. So we're just trying to help that out a little bit. And do you keep the hair on the top of her? Yeah. And then just blend it out? Yeah, that's right. So you seen there earlier we kind of left a wedge going down yeah. our back, so now Mark's gonna blend it up and trim the sides and make it look as natural as you can. Yeah. Roy, right, with the clipping all done, what is the next stage now? So the next stage would be uh, just putting some oil on the other after it being clipped so tight you don't want the skin to go dry so you just put some baby oil to keep it moisturised. Moisturised, yeah. This just makes everything stand out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then just brush your tail out afterwards. Roy, right, that's all you can do now then, until show time. Yeah. Then you just do the finishing touches and that's it. Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you very much for showing me and all the best with her. Yeah, no problem. All right. Thanks. Right, Mark, uh, David and Rory was telling me about the other two stages. Mm -hmm. Preparation and choosing them. You've got the job of getting her ready for the ring. Uh -huh. What does your job entail then? Well, first thing different is it's the halter. We use a leather halter to show them with. Yeah. Um, for any reason or just It just looks smarter. It looks smarter, doesn't it? And do you just put that on her a couple of nights a week and get her used to it as such? You have to practice with it at home. I... Just walking up and down on the yeah. concrete? couple of nights a week, get her used to it before you she, go to the show. She's no bother there so far anyway, isn't it? Like, she says that's only her third time on the halter. Aye. Uh, normally they don't like it because of the chain, it's different, but... And does that, it must irritate them a wee bit, but no, it's was all, it's just learning trade there, mm. like. They just get used to it. And is there any wee things uh, like teaching her how to stand properly? Well, normally you want the front two feet standing square and the back leg beside the judge, it needs to be a little bit farther forward so you can see more rudder. Yeah, yeah. And do you, do you teach that here or is this you, just... You have to practice that. Yeah, and then hopefully she sticks by it then. There's nothing really else you can do, it's just keep practicing then. You can do all you want, but if they don't behave in the ring on the day, it's, uh, it's, it's all a waste of time really. I uh, well. You have to put in the work at home. Do you want to go, Kirsty? Uh, I will try it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There she's away now. Good girl. Don't take off. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Is this all just part of the practicing? Aye. Be nice. There Keep you go. Up. Keep your head up. <laughs> oh, she's gonna go. <laughs> Mark, if whenever you're in the ring, what is the judge gonna be looking for? Like, what are you hoping to? Well, if you're the judge, that's the way you want the legs placed. You always want the head up, uh -huh. and you always hold a little bit of skin here. Are See the they... difference? Yeah. Getting the legs in the right place all the time is very important. And they, they'll just concentrate on her physique more so, isn't it? They judge her as they see her on the day. Aye. Uh, so, no, if they don't behave on the day, it's a lot of work for nothing, really. Yeah. Hopefully she'll behave then for you. Hope so. <laughs> well, good luck then anyway with her. Thank you. All right. Andrew, the rest Hiya. of the boys have talked me through all their stages as in preparation, getting her all ready, and then actually whenever they're in the ring. Yeah. And this is the what they've done so far, but we're just wondering, has the show's not been on, had an impact yeah. on the market or the industry? I suppose um, it has had an impact. Um, some may say negative, some may say positive. Mm -hmm. We're probably showing animals virtually online now. Yeah. Um, we're selling animals virtually uh -huh. through video and, and Facebook and etc. Do you find that as good? It seems to be, I think everybody's accepted that. This is the new way of it? Well, we'll, we'll it's sort of a new way for this year. For the time being, I hope. I think it's, it has worked, it has serviced the industry fairly well this first year, but probably going forward, everybody will want to be back. Want to be back on the mark, want seeing to be back, physically what? Yeah, meeting people yeah. And, and talking to people likewise. Yeah. And the social aspects of it, you know, is, is one, all one of the there. biggest things. Yeah. Um, but the industry itself, like, still. The in like, industry itself, and since the pandemic has started, has been very good. Are oh, the farmers adapted to it quickly? Like, the they? farmers seem to have adapted. Um, I suppose in the initial stage, they had nowhere to go. 
the hell I do, what the hell I do, and just to keep going. regarding marketing of animals, um, you know, they've just had to do it differently. Yeah. Um, Why do you think it's important to get the shows back? I think it's massive for a sort of social aspect. Um, I know mental health has been talked about in farming, yeah, and I think the showing, I, I, I think the showing gives a great it's outlet. It's like something to look forward to. It is, it is, and it gets like-minded people that only maybe meet up two or three times a year at a show. At the shows, yeah. For a bit of a chat. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of people say you go to the show to to meet your neighbours. David had said that it took from start to finish is about twelve months preparation. Well, that's so, it. We'll, we'll, we'll show on, show on dairy cows. It's just not an overnight thing. You it's just not an overnight off, thing. Um, a beef animal is maybe slightly different. She's a quicker turnaround yeah. to get to the show you have ring. To just put your time and effort into them, girls. Dairy cows, obviously, the other is, yeah. a, is a massive showing yeah. point. The animals have to be at a certain stage in the lactation. Yeah. To, to obviously over. to show. Yeah. Um, so there's slightly. I'm not going to say there's any less preparation, but there's slightly different, different preparation. Ever, it's like every yeah. part of the industry. It's all different. It's different from beef to dairy, maybe. But uh, no, we're just we're hoping to get back to the to, well, to, to the so. new norm again. I, I think everybody so. is. Well, thank you all very much for talking me through all the processes. Hopefully, I'll be able to show them now next year. Yeah, very good. All thank right you very then. much. No bother. Cheers.